A high school football player from Minnesota is getting an award for his courage. On Sunday night, the Minnesota chapter of the National Football Foundation will honor Creighton Durham Hall's Casey O'Brien with its annual Courage Award. Dave McCoy tells us the remarkable story behind the reason why. Casey O'Brien is getting ready for golf season at Creighton Durham Hall. He loves the competitiveness and the time outdoors. But golf is not the O'Brien family game. That would be football. Let's go! Casey's dad is Dan O'Brien, an assistant coach for the Gophers. Casey grew up a quarterback. It was two years ago, midway through his freshman year, when he started having knee pain. It wasn't the knee injury he had in mind. I'll tell you, it's, it's gut-wrenching. I mean, even, even to this day, it's hard for me to talk about. You know, it just, just took my breath away right there. It, it, it takes your breath away when you hear that, and then you don't want to believe it. Casey had cancer, but he attacked it with the same competitiveness. Eight rounds of chemotherapy, a full knee replacement surgery, 12 more rounds of chemo. It took eight months, but he beat it. The cancer was gone. Everything was clean, and uh, I thought I was in remission at that point. But six months later, the cancer was back, and it had spread. That's where they, uh, that's where they noticed them in my lungs. Casey had two more surgeries, another eight rounds of chemo. Dan spent more than 150 nights with him in the hospital. And the two of them spent a lot of time talking, especially about the upcoming football season, which Casey and his fully replaced knee and chemo-ravaged body surely weren't going to be able to be a part of. Until they got an idea, the least likely position at which Casey could get hurt. We thought it would be either kicker or holder, and I'm a terrible kicker, so I'd end up being holder. They hatched a plan for Casey to hold field goals and extra points in the season opener for one last time on the football field, the last game he'd ever play. It was a lot of fun, you know. Um, I hadn't really ever expected to get the chance to play again because all the doctors said that I would never play again. He kept coming back. In and out of the hospital all season long, missing games here and there as he battled cancer and went through chemo, Casey continued to play. The thing that amazes me the most about Casey is his positive attitude. You know, there wasn't a day that he's ever said, why me or, or how come me? Jerry Kill noticed and gave Casey a signed helmet, calling him the toughest SOB on the planet. He is. The way he handled things, he handled, he handled things like a man. And not a, not a little boy. He handled it like a man. Kill used Casey as an example to his entire team. He helped li uplift us all. He made me a better person, I can tell you that. For all that football has meant to their family, the most important thing it's ever done is this. Dan firmly believes it saved Casey's life. When the knee pain while playing led to the diagnosis, when it gave him something to look forward to all those nights in the hospital, when the support from the football community poured in. The entire football community of Minnesota helped him. I don't know what his fall would have been like had he not had the chance to, to play football. Last month, Casey's scans came back cancer-free. He's beaten it again, and he'll be the holder again this fall. We're hoping to be a uh, captain this year, first uh, holder as a captain in the history of Creighton Durham Hall, so I love playing football. And Casey only took up golf because getting, uh, after getting cancer because he wanted another sport that he could play. He's already made the varsity team. On Sunday night, I'll be hosting the annual Minnesota Football Honors event. We award scholarship to high school athletes. We honor college players, and we also present the Vikings annual awards, and the public is welcome. You can find all the details at wccocom links.